Hey everyone, thank you for watching today's video. I'm so excited to do. It is going to be a new declutter. It's going to be my lip gloss declutter. So I'm finishing off my declutter series. I've been doing this one, uh, a declutter every single week for many, many weeks now. My finale is all of my lip products. Last week I did my liquid lipsticks. Today we have glosses. Next week is lip liners and then we're finishing it off with my regular bullet lipsticks, cream lipsticks, all that good stuff. So this week is glosses. This here is my gloss collection. So I'll be going through, doing some swatches, deciding what to keep, what I want to get rid of. I will link my declutter playlist down below. But I'm also very excited because this is a special declutter because it is a collaboration. So this is a collab with my friend Britt Clark. I will definitely have her linked in my description box. So please make sure to go check out her channel. Let her know that I sent you. We are go both going to be decluttering our glosses today. I know Britt has been doing a lot of declutters over on her channel as well. So if you really enjoy declutters, I would definitely check her out. She has a great channel. I've been watching her for quite some time now. I know I have featured her in in a makeup monthly in the past. I do a creator spotlight in all of my makeup monthly videos. She's been featured there before too. Such a fun channel, a place where you can just go hang out, laugh, just be yourself. And she does a lot of live chats over there. So if you really do love live chats, she does a lot of them. She does will I buy it's, um, she does declutters. I think if you like the type of content that I put out on my channel, I think that you would really like hers as well. And she's just She's just a fun person. We Marco Polo a lot, and I just think that she's fantastic. So please make sure to go check out Britt's channel. Again, I will have her linked in my description box. Thank you so much to her for collabing with me. Uh, and yeah, I'm excited to see what her declutter looks like and how she does with her glosses. So let's go ahead and jump into the declutter. Like I said, this is my collection here. So what I did with my liquid lipsticks is I divided them into brands first and then kind of went about it that way. I think that'll do the same thing because I think I have a lot of, like I think a lot of these are from similar brands. Does that make any sense? Oh yeah, and in the spirit of Brit, and I'm recording on Friday night, I do have a glass of wine here. So like don't start to make fun of me if I like say weird things, okay? Just don't do it, just don't. Are you judging me? Don't do it. I'm gonna go ahead and divide them up and then we will get started. This is what my little piles look like. Some of the bigger ones, I see Ofer Cosmetics, El Maquillage, um, some Sigma, Charlotte Tilbury, Jouer. Got quite a few from Persona Cosmetics, Urban Decay, uh, Pat McGrath, and then some singles in there too. Go ahead and start it off. So I think I actually want to start with these from Urban Decay. I got these when I still, who remembers when I wasn't a lip gloss person, like at all, like at all. I just didn't like wearing gloss and then all of a sudden things started to change and it was around that time that Urban Decay sent some of these over to me in PR and I was like, wait, I like these. So I can remember these kind of being right there, like around that turning point for me. These are the three shades that I kept. Here are the three swatches, starting with Fuel, Backtalk, and then 1993. So you can tell that these are definitely like nicely pigmented lip glosses. They do have kind of like a um, kind of like that minty feel on your lips and kind of that smell to them also. And again, I was a, a fan of these. I recommended them. I use them a lot, but it has been quite some time since I've reached for any of these. So I was thinking that I probably don't need to keep all three, but I thought I first initially pulled out a bunch of these glosses and I didn't think my collection looked that bad. And then I found some more and then I found some in my purse and then, and and then slowly things got a little out of control and I think I'm actually going to go ahead and declutter all three of these. Which I'm a little bit surprised with myself. Uh, moving along with my singles, this one here is from Marc Jacobs. This is uh, one of their like lip gloss sticks and this is in Mocha Chocolate. So you, I like it because you can see the color here but then you like pull it off. I don't know, the packaging's interesting. And this has like, you can click it up, but once you click it up, you can't click it down. So you gotta, you just gotta be a little bit careful with it. Look at how beautiful that color is. 
I am a big, big fan of this color, and I like this one. I, a lot of people were giving it good reviews, which is why I wanted to get it, and I do like it as well. The packaging can drive me a little bit crazy, and it's kind of hard since it's, like, so much bigger. It's not super easy to fit in, like, um like a lip gloss organizer the color i like the formula i'm gonna go ahead and keep this one from mark jacobs uh, next up i see a favorite lip gloss of mine this is from lawless beauty and this is their glazed lip gloss i'm a big fan of this i've recommended it a lot i don't know how well some of these are gonna be kind of hard to swatch since they are glosses but it just gives like a light pinky sheen i mean it's easy to wear over even just like lip liners or something like that and i think that's a really comfortable formula not like i don't like a really sticky gloss uh but this is something that's just like a little bit lighter if you don't want like a super opaque lip gloss this is a good option and i really like glazed from lawless beauty so i am going to be keeping that one uh, next I see this one from Pixie. Okay, this is in collaboration with Chloe Morello. This is one of their lip icings and this is in cake. There is a swatch of a cake. So again, a lip icing. So it kind of just looks like it has maybe quite a bit of glitter to it, almost like a little bit of gold glitter. As I was swatching it, it kind of reminded me a little bit maybe of this one from Dose of Colors. This was in collaboration with Desi and Katie, and this was an over the top, because I know this was kind of like a gold sparkle too. I don't think they're super close. I think the Dose of Colors has, uh, how would I say this? The I think the Pixie is a little bit more sheer, Dose of Colors just has a little bit more of like a gold base. And they both have a lot of shimmer to it. Okay, so they're both really pretty. Uh, I feel like I don't really reach for the one from Pixie. I think I've only worn it a couple times after I got it uh, in PR. So I'm going to declutter the one from Pixie. And then Dose of Colors, I purchased over the top. I, I purchased a lot of the collaborations between Desi and Katie. Over the top... I didn't like really lose my mind over it. The Dose of Colors glosses actually aren't a favorite, even though I love their liquid lipsticks. I think that they're great. The glosses weren't a total favorite, but I, th I think I'm going to go ahead and keep it around for a little bit longer. This one here is from Milani. This is one of the Keep It Full glosses, and this is in Nude Shimmer. I got this from Ulta Beauty. A bunch of people were recommending this gloss formula. I think Emily Noel really enjoys this one also, and it is a really beautiful gloss. When I first tried it, I wasn't sure if I was a huge fan of it, and it kind of grew on me a little bit. The only thing I'll say of why it's not like a real big favorite is it can get a little bit like chunky on my lips. I can get like, it's almost just like a little bit too, not too glossy, but just like too chunky. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense, but it is a really beautiful color. Um, it has a little shimmer in there too, so I'm going to keep this one from Milani. And then I have one from ColourPop. This is a part of the Sailor Moon collection. There was also a liquid lip that I had in last week's video. This one is an ultra glossy lip, and this is in Moon Tierra. So this is kind of an idea of the gloss. So to be honest, like not really a favorite shade of mine and ColourPop doesn't have my favorite glosses either, uh, but I haven't remo uh, reviewed, not removed, I haven't reviewed the Sailor Moon collection yet, so I'm going to keep this around so I can feature that in an upcoming review video. So I'm going to keep that one. All right, next up, another new one that I have is from Pure Cosmetics. This is in their uh, Trolls World Tour collaboration. I just did a video recently on my Instagram, a look with one of the eyeshadow palettes, also the face palette, and then the gloss comes in a set with the face palette, like they come in a box together. One time so far, I just filmed that video this week, so... I've only tried it out the one time. It looks like it has a little bit more like raspberry to it, but it is still pretty sheer also. I thought it looked pretty. I paired it over my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner, and I thought that it looked nice, but definitely need to wear this a little bit more so I can give a review on it. So I will be keeping that one in my collection. Another single, this is from MAC. A lot of you were surprised that I decluttered my MAC Burnt Spice in last week's video. Trust me. I was too. But this one here from MAC, this is one of their lip glasses, I believe that they're called, and this is in Under the Sheets. I, I, oof, I have been a big fan of Under the Sheets, <sighs> but I'm looking at it, know that I haven't worn this one in a long time. 
and I just I feel like there's some other glosses that I just wear more but when I see it it just kind of gives me that like nostalgia feeling but at the same time it's been sitting in my collection for a very long time I mean I don't know if you can see like through the tube there like this has gotten definitely so much love from me but I think it's time to let go of under the sheets I really do so it's hard for me to do it hurts me more than it hurts you but I'm going to declutter that one. Okay, next up, I have this one from Fenty Beauty. This is one of the gloss bombs, and this is in Diamond Milk. I do really like this one. I like the... Oh, wait, I have another one from Fenty. Wait a second. I am missing a gloss. I'm missing the pink one. Fussy. Okay, I'm going to have to go look for that because hmm that's interesting okay so there is a diamond milk so I really do like this uh, the the Fenty gloss bomb the first one I purchased like the original I didn't really love it but I think it was more of the shade because then I purchased fussy and I liked the pink and then I also got diamond milk and I do like this one too it is pretty clear with a lot of um, like shimmer sparkles in there and then kind of the the packaging is a little bit bigger so once again just like with the Marc Jacobs it's a little bit hard to store but I do like it so I am going to keep diamond milk I'll definitely look for my fussy I don't know where it would be but I I know that I would keep that one too because I do like it a lot so hmm put that on the list of makeup that I need to find <laughs> keep it moving with my singles this one here is from Hourglass this is one of their unreal lip glosses perhaps this is in sublime this is just a mini I got it as like a point perk at Sephora and I really really like this lip gloss I think that it's so beautiful it's I don't know how to explain what it does to your lips but it is just really gorgeous and I really like this color these are expensive lip glosses though I think they're like are they like $30 or something for the full-size lip gloss so like I want to hang on to my mini as much as I can I love the sublime color um, I don't know I, I'm a really really big fan of these so yeah definitely gonna hang on to my sublime from hourglass and then from Sephora this here is one of their let's see what are these called it doesn't say on the packaging okay so this is from Sephora I honestly can't remember the name of these I bought this I'm pretty sure off a recommendation from Kathleen lights <laughs> like I buy a lot of my stuff and this is in the shade no regrets does it say anything on here like do you have any information for me so far there's like no information on these I can't find the, the shade name I can't find the product name but I want to say it's either like no regrets or like deep regrets or no regrets you know I, it's something along those lines for sure but these are really nice too um people and, and myself <laughs> People and myself have compared this to like the Marc Jacobs so let me go ahead and uh, swatch the Marc Jacobs next to this okay so this one here is the Sephora and then we have the Marc Jacobs so shade wise I don't like these two aren't so so close to one another Sephora does have a little bit more um, brown to it and I would say that the Sephora has like a little bit more oomph I don't know if you can tell like with the Marc Jacobs is a little bit more just on like the sheer side and Sephora just has a little bit more mm, to the lips, if you will. But I think the Sephora one is really nice also. I like it a lot. I do want to keep it. So that one is from Sephora. And then moving on to my one from Bite. I think this is my last single. So this is from Bite Beauty. And this is one of their French Press lip glosses. And I have the shade Flat White. Um, a lot of people have recommended these. Uh, especially Flat White came from my friend Ashley Clady. I know Samantha Ravendahl I think has recommended like the whole line. But especially Flat White. This is a really fun shade. It's almost, it's a little bit more like on the cool tone side, but still just really pretty. I like the formula a lot, but I think, <laughs> I'm trying to think if these are also being reformulated. A bunch of products from Bite Beauty are, and I know the French Press glosses went on sale and then they disappeared, and I don't know if they came back or not. So I don't know if I can really say that I would recommend them if they're going to be changing because I did buy this quite some time ago, but I still like, I like these a lot. So I hope if they do change or if they have changed, it's not like too, too different because I think that it's still really pretty. Uh, not too sticky, not too goopy, 
like that color a lot. So I'm going to keep that one from Bite Beauty. And then I think everything else I have some multiples of. I'm here with my ones from Buxom. So I have these two from Buxom Cosmetics. And these are actually the same shade. Even though I won't lie. Like on in the packaging. Like in the tubes. They do look a little bit different. But I know they're white Russian of each of them. That's one of the most popular Buxom shades for sure. These are the full on lip plumping creams. Yeah, full on plumping lip cream. These definitely do look different. Um, the full size one is on the bottom. This looks like it has more pink in it. I don't know if you can see it the best on camera, but it has like more pink, whereas the mini is more of like that clear. Like it's just like really clear with more nude to it. I don't... This happens to me a lot with, no, I shouldn't say a lot, but it's kind of an exaggeration, but the with mini and full sizes swatching differently. I know the mini I've had for a really long time and the full size I just got a little bit more recently. So I do want to keep the full size and I'm going to go ahead and toss the mini. I've gotten really good use out of that though. Like look at that. Like I have worn white Russian a lot. This is the one that I've mostly worn. I just got this one recently from Buxom and I was like, oh, you know what? I could replace this. Let me just make sure. Are they both the same formula? Because Buxom also has a lot. Full. Okay, this says, the mini says full on lip cream. The one on the bottom says full on plumping lip cream. So I, I, Buxom has like so many different formulas, but with there's a lot of the same names. I mean, they even have like white Russian eyeshadow palettes, so it can be a little bit hard. So I'm kind of scared. I'm not going to love the full size as much as the mini, but also I know that the mini can just, it's time to be decluttered. So I'm going to declutter the mini. I'm going to keep the full size and hope that I'm not super sad because I do like them. And they definitely, like they are plumping. They kind of have that like minty feel and taste to them. So next up I have these three from Jouer and these are all the lip toppers. For the swatches we have Skinny Dip, San Tropez is in the middle, and then um, Papaya? Papaya? I can't remember. I think that one was like Papaya. So the gold, I just don't wear gold glosses as much, but the one in the middle, that San Tropez, is really beautiful like it's a little bit more sheer just a little bit pinky but has some really cool flex to it and then the one on the end is almost kind of like a little bit more of a duochrome and that one definitely seems to have the most pigment to it but I'm just going to go ahead and keep the one in the middle Saint Tropez and then I am going to declutter the other two moving on to my ones from Il Maquillage these were in collaboration with Carly Bible I did get her full collection sent over to me which I was really excited about because I really love Carly Bible. She was the first YouTuber I started watching. Um, definitely has inspired me a lot throughout my own way here. The glosses look like, I think these might be sold out now, um, but you know, we'll go ahead and see which ones I want to keep around. So here are the swatches. We have Twilight, Star Child, and Supernova. <sighs> okay, so these are all kind of, like the word that comes to mind is like cosmic. With these glosses they look so bomb on Carly like watching her videos and when she applies them at all of them look just so fantastic on her and these are heavy like as I'm holding these in my hands like you could do some bicep curls with these for sure these are like heavy duty lip glosses I liked the formula it I, I wouldn't say it turned into a huge favorite of mine but I did like it I don't know. I wanted to at least give up one, but now that I'm looking at these and I'm looking at the swatches and I'm just like, oh, I don't feel like I'm ready to give them up. So I'm going to keep all three. I probably don't need to keep all three, but I want to, you know, and it is my collection. So I got to remember that that's what feels right to me. I need to go ahead and do it. The three are from Sigma Beauty. I just got these in the Corderosa collection that I got recently. I've only tried the one so far, so I am going to be keeping these, but I just wanted to show you these glosses. These have more of that brush style applicator on them. These are available now on the Sigma website, and then here are the swatches. 
We have Lilac Wine, Secret Garden, and then Corda Rosa. So again, I'm going to be keeping these um, so I can test them out and wear them a little bit more, see if I have a favorite. They also did come out with a liquid lipstick. Trio here of Pat McGrath lip glosses. So she has um, quite a few lipstick and lip gloss trios. So um, I don't remember what this exact trio was called, and I had this one gift it to me uh, from a subscriber, actually, who really wanted me to try out the Pat McGrath lip glosses and I do like them so we just got the mini glosses here with more of the doe foot I have worn all three of these glosses that I have and I do like the formula the lips look a little bit more juicy this one especially was like a really fun one I don't know what it is I'm just so like I don't know man the sparkles the sparkles really get to me and then the swatches, we have Dare to Bear, Divine Rose, and this last one here is Pale Fire Nectar. And this one kind of reminds me like a little bit of the Carly Bible. I don't know if you'd be able to tell, but um, I don't know. It's just kind of really cool. I posted an Instagram photo recently, and I was wearing that gloss, and it's just like such a fun sparkle. Ah, I'm trying to decide, do I need to keep all three? But... They're still kind of like, they're not like brand new to my collection, but they're still kind of new. And I liked all three shades and I'm going to keep them. I'm going to keep these three. Oh, look, decluttering my glasses is harder than I thought it was going to be. I didn't think it would be too bad. So, okay, we just have three brands left. We got Charlotte Tilbury, we got Persona, and we got Ofra. I'm going to need some more wine for this. I'm not just saying that. I'm going to need some more wine for this back. Oh, also, no one's making fun of my nails. I know you're not, because that would be rude. Let's start with my ones from Persona Cosmetics. I really like Persona. I've been having a hard time getting rid of anything Persona Cosmetics. Grab out Honey. It immediately became like a standout to me. I just, I don't know, it's just so beautiful. Oh, like the formula a lot. Mm, yes, Honey. Oh. Honey's a good one. So definitely want to keep honey. So this one is toffee. Toffee's a little bit darker, but they're not, you know, they're a little bit sheer, but they give a nice amount of color. They don't, I mean, they don't stay on forever. Not a lot of glosses do, and I don't mind to reapply them. Okay, let me think about toffee. And then we have peach, which is obviously a little, just a bit more of a peachy gloss. I just don't really wear peach a whole lot. Okay, so I, I'm trying to trying to like talk myself through this because I'm like do I need to keep all five like a part of me wants to but a part of me is like I don't know and then this one here is the pink gloss which is really pretty as well and then the last one here um this one is oh this doesn't have a name on it oh which one I can't remember if this is just called coral or I can't remember but for some reason mine doesn't have a name on it I did get it in PR so um, uh, so that one is really pretty. So I definitely, like, I want to keep this one because I don't have a ton of other glosses like that. So I know I'm keeping that in Honey for sure. And then these are the other swatches of all of my Persona glosses. I think I'm just going to get rid of one. I'm going to get rid of the peach just because I really just don't wear peach often. It's just not really my shade in lips and blushes. I, I, I don't know what it is. I'm just not like a really big peach lover. And then I'm going to keep the other four for right now. Next up, I want to do my Charlotte Tilbury collection. And I actually have two in here that should have been um, in my last week's video, my liquid lip declutter, because these ones are a little bit more liquid lip-ish, but I have them with my glosses for Charlotte Tilbury. So I just, for some reason, when I looked at the organizer I thought that they were all glosses so I'm just going to include them in here so this is kind of like a deeper it's almost kind of like a deeper berry but with some mauve in it I remember I've only tried it a couple times and I wasn't like I wasn't totally blown away by the formula and then this one ooh, that one is a mini and then this one is another one of the Hollywood lips and then this one is in too bad I'm bad. So swatch of that one. This one is a little bit more on the pink side. Um, I would like to keep at least one of the formula around. So I think I'm actually going to declutter the too bad I'm bad because this is kind of one of those pinks that I just I don't wear very often. And I like that that one has a little bit more mob to it. So I'm actually going to go ahead and keep the mini. So back to our 
regularly scheduled program with the glosses. So this one here is the Collagen Lip Bath, and I think it's just in the Pillow Talk shade. I wasn't so sure what I was going to think about this when I tried it, but I ended up really enjoying it because it doesn't look like it doesn't look like much when you swatch it, but it just makes the lips look like I want to say like naturally glossy, which doesn't make any sense because <laughs> a super glossy lip is definitely definitely not natural. Um, but I, I don't know what it, it it like. It's just it's not super glossy but also it stays for a really like a really good amount of time and lip gloss usually doesn't you know I don't really look for like super long wearing lip glosses but this is one that just hangs around and continues to just give your lips that like plumper look without being plumping like it doesn't have the minty effect to it I'm actually really enjoying the collagen lip bath so I am going to keep that one this next one here, this, I'm not really sure what this product is. Um, it's in the shade Pillow Talk, but I don't know what the, I don't know what the product is because it doesn't say it anywhere. So that's kind of silly. But this one is another gloss. I was going to say of course, but you know, I just had two liquid lips in here. So I don't know if I should really say of course. But this one is definitely more opaque than the collagen lip bath that I shared. Um, I'm going to go ahead and keep this one because sometimes I like to keep different formulas uh, around just to have something to compare them to. And honestly, I'm just not really sure what, I'm not really sure what this is. It's one of my newer products. So I'll have to figure that one out, but I am going to go ahead and keep that one. And then this is like a superstar's lip, I want to say, because once again, it doesn't say it on here, which is so frustrating. Um, this is also in Pillow Talk. <laughs> So the third pillow talk on here, and this is what, and that, and then look, it's just so strange. Like they're all so different, but they're all pillow talk. This one is more kind of reminds me like of that Sephora product or the Marc Jacobs gloss stick. It's kind of more of that consistency, but it's a pretty color. I've tried these before, and I didn't love the shades that I have, but I definitely do like the pillow talk one more. I think it looks pretty by itself or with a lip liner. Um, like it gives a a gloss effect again without being like overly glossy and I think that it's nice. So I'm going to go ahead and hang on to that one. And then finally, we just have my Ofra. Shoop. We just have my Ofra glosses left. I definitely have the most amount of Ofra glosses in my collection. I'm a really big fan of these. I went on to make my own gloss, my own shade in my collection that I did with Ofra Cosmetics. That is the middle one here. This is my gloss in Millie. It's still available now on the Ofra Cosmetics website. You actually get it in a duo with the Story Liquid Lipstick that I shared last week, but this is Millie and uh, I just, I love this one so much. There is... Millie. This is named after my grandmother who is no longer with us, but she loved pearls and I just felt like this kind of more pearly gloss was just right up her alley. She used to wear a nail polish that looked so close <laughs> to this color. So uh, yeah, this is to honor my grandmother and of course I'm obviously keeping Millie around. Another one of my favorites, if you can't tell, is this gloss right here. This is one of the first that I got from Ofra Cosmetics and I was like, what? Because the Ofra glosses are fairly new to the brand. This one is in Apricot Dream. And once I got this, I was like, um, yes, please. So obviously I love the Ofra lip gloss formula, but this Apricot Dream is kind of like what sold, like what's initially sold me on it. It's just one of those that is so beautiful. Like it's not, it's not overly anything and it's not too goopy and just, Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> it just gives like, I want to say almost like a milky look to the lips, but without being weird. But you can obviously tell that Apricot Dream, big favorite of mine. So definitely going to be keeping that one. Okay, I also really enjoy the one in BRB. This one is a little bit newer to Ofra. I think it's such a cool color. So this one has a little bit more of like purple lavender, like a purple lavender base to it with a lot of sparkle. Mmm, that's such a fun one too. So I'm going to keep this one. All right, I think one, uh, okay, this one is Cherry Mocha. I'm definitely really attracted to glosses that have some sparkle to them or like 
shimmer to them. This one is a little bit more pigmented, so I think I'm actually going to declutter this one. I'm going to, like, be strong and try to get rid of some because I'm just really attracted to, like, those types of glosses at the moment. So I'm going to put Cherry Mocha in my declutter pile. Okay, and then another one that I really enjoy, this one is in Natural. So this one reminded me a little bit of Apricot Dream. Again, it's one of the first ones that I tried, but this one had a little bit more base to it, like a little bit more of a gold base. And I think that one is really pretty too. So I want to, yeah, I'm going to keep that one. Okay, and then this one here is in Golden Rose. Ah, oh, man. Oh, they just have such nice lip glosses, and I really liked Golden Rose, too. It has just, like, a little hint of pink to it. Oof. And it's so pretty. Okay, I want... I want to keep Golden Rose. And, okay, this is kind of hard. This one is in Gloss Up, so this one has more pink to it. And, you know what? I think... I think I can say goodbye to Gloss Up. I feel like I'm keeping a lot. This one's a little bit more... A little bit more pinky. So I'm going to declutter that one. And then finally we have Rodeo Drive. And this one is really pretty. It's more gold though. And I again, I don't wear gold very often. So I think I'm actually going to also declutter Rodeo Drive. Just because I don't go for the gold too much. And I did keep a lot of my over glosses. And I wear Millie the most now. <laughs> okay, but after that, that is everything. I did it. I don't know how well I did. But let me pull everything out. We will see how I did. This was definitely not my most savage declutter to date. Okay, so that is my declutter pile. I'm decluttering 13. And then my keep pile. And I'm keeping 34. In my defense, A, it's my makeup collection. So really shouldn't have to defend it, but there are some newer products in there to me uh, that I am still needing to review and just some formulas and shades that I love. So that is it for my declutter. Not super savage this week, but that's okay. There's always next week. We got two more declutters to go in my entire declutter series and then we are done. I hope that you enjoyed this one though and seeing the swatches and seeing my thoughts on all of these different glosses in my collection. Again, please make sure to go check out Britt's channel. I'm really excited to watch her lip gloss declutter as well. I will see you next week for the lip liner declutter. If you guys enjoyed this one, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope that you also consider subscribing before you go and I will see you in my next video. Bye.